This is a tutorial on how to achieve a realistic glass transparency on a background. I found this glass image from the web and we're going to make this look like it's sitting on this table. So choosing my quick selection tool or W, I'm going to select my white background and holding down the option key you can unselect or deselect some of the glass. Using your left and right bracket keys you can resize this and you might want to zoom in a little bit depending on the level of detail you're working with in the image. Okay, now we need to get the inverse to create this mask. I can do that by doing Command Option I, oops, Command Shift I, I mean, or select and your inverse. While the selection tool is selected, you can click the Refine Edge button, and usually edge detection, Smart Radius is going to help get closer to the object. Sometimes you might want to shift in the edge and increase your contrast. Again, your bracket keys can be used, your left and right brackets, to help select some of the white area and remove it. Okay, that's looking pretty good for now, so I'm going to click OK and we have a new layer with a mask. I'm going to click the M or quick selection tool and we're going to select some of this border remaining and I'm going to do a command C to cut that. I think we're going to zoom in to get closer on the detail. Making sure we're on the mask I'm going to select my B for brush and Let's make sure our white is in the foreground. You can use this little arrow to switch, or you can click the X key to swap. I'm going to fill in more of this white area. And you can switch back and forth as you need to add and subtract the mask layer. Command Z will allow you to undo if you accidentally do the opposite of what you intended. This is looking pretty good. Okay, let's zoom out. I do have my brush hardness set pretty high. If it's more feathered, it's just not going to look as crisp against the background. I don't want it to look blurry. Okay, at this point we can duplicate this layer by doing Command J, or you can drag your layer onto a new layer. We'll hide the bottom layer, and at this point I'm going to start looking at some of these overlay effects. You can start going through your effects panel and see how this overlays on the background. I think we're going to stick with multiply and I'm going to duplicate this again with command J and let's do a normal and let's start let's apply this mask by right clicking on the mask apply layer mask I'm going to make a new mask and selecting B for my brush tool I'm going to start taking off some of this glass to see 
what we want to keep for the highlights. So using multiply is a bit too much for some of the areas. I'm going to soften up, take down the hardness of my brush, and start bringing back some of the glass area here. Because the drink itself is not transparent. And we want to keep some highlights on the glass as well. So let's take down our opacity up here and go over the glass to keep some of the whites. And we can take some of this away too. I'm just going to see how this looks. And again, I'm using my X key to switch between the foreground and the background being black or white to add or subtract our mask. You can, if you don't have black and white, you can hit your D key and that'll go to your default. And again, just switching back and forth to achieve this realistic effect. Sometimes you want to slowly build this up. So again, you can spend more time. I'm moving pretty quickly on this. Another thing that we can add to this to make it look a little more realistic is add a shadow to the bottom of the glass. And if you can try to tell where your light source is, it would help. So I'm going to go below the glass layer and add a new layer. And with the black, I'm going to zoom in with a low hardness and we'll, uh, we'll strike with the opacity. I'm going to create, follow the path of the glass. And let's do a multiply on that layer and change the opacity down a little bit. Let's group these three by Command-G or Control-G if you're on a PC. And you can see you can change the location of the glass. Another couple of things we're going to do to make this look more realistic is duplicate our layer, right-click and delete the layer mask. Let's add a linear burn to this one to increase the vibrancy to match the background a little bit more. Add another mask for this, select our brush tool, and with our black as the foreground, we're going to start, let's turn down our opacity. We're going to mainly highlight the drink to increase its vibrancy.
So we want to match the levels within the background. Or if you can tell your light source, make sure you're matching your light source. Kind of a last and final thing we're going to do is add levels or change the levels by adding a layer. And I'm going to move this outside of the group and make the levels by holding option. I'm going to make the levels only affect the group so it's not affecting the background. Double click on the levels and we're going to continue to play with this until we get the effect we're looking for. The last thing I'm going to do to this to give the glass this realistic effect is we are going to take a sample by using our rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to select this line that we can see the background through and doing command J I'm going to copy that layer and we're going to shift it and blur it just a little bit because when you look through glass there's some displacement and it's usually a little bit blurrier especially if you have a, a frosted glass and we might want this above or below depending on you might use something as a reference to see on the perspective to match it. Another thing, if you are looking at a completely transparent glass, you will want to blur and do a little bit of image displacement of the background. So if we could see through this, we would move part of the hills in the background.